Hey guys, I'm here to show you how to restore and update your iPad and iPhone. So we're gonna go into iTunes, iTunes available for both PC and Mac. So we're gonna go right into it. So first of all, we're not gonna update, we're gonna restore it first and then update it, okay? So click on restore. At this point, you should already done a backup to your computer. So here's the option to do the backup to your computer. I always suggest doing a backup to your computer. So you can put backup now. Okay, and this will also give you the option to backup or don't. I already backed up the iPad, so this, in this case I'm going to put don't backup. And I'm just going to put restore and update. Okay, and then continue. Okay, you're going to hit next, agree. And it's going to take a while, okay? So once again, iTunes available for both PC and Mac. It's a free program, you can download it from apple.com. Okay, um, the whole process will wipe out everything from your iPad, so you will lose pretty much everything. So that's why I'm telling, I'm basically suggesting to you guys that you should back up all your information. Um, besides that, make sure that your iPad has enough battery at this point. Okay, usually computers uh, will not charge your iPad as it's connected to your computer. Okay, via USB drive. So most I'm saying most not all okay um, so just make sure you have enough, enough battery um, this iPad is an iPad 2 so that's why we're restoring it and we're gonna update it to the latest version if uh, you're gonna update it to iOS 8 it's pretty much the same process if you want to restore and update your iPad okay if you guys have any questions comments you can write them here below and uh, well, we're gonna go through the whole process right now so it's gonna take a couple minutes so have if you have a lot of time to do it do it okay especially the backup part if you have a lot of information once again it's gonna take a long time so usually people do this um, if they want to change their iCloud information on their iPad this is one of the ways to do it okay so if you're handling one iCloud uh, through your whole iPad then that's with the iCloud that you activated your iPad and you want to change to another one this is one way to do it okay um, so we're just gonna wait a second and see what happens in just a few minutes okay at some point you may get this message just click apply or don't apply it doesn't really matter at this point we're just gonna click apply in this case is yes we want to restore So at this point, it's just going to prepare the iPad for restore. And we're going to have to wait a little bit longer until it continues, okay? Um, at this point, you will see your iPad display an image of um, a wire and iTunes logo. It's also going to reset a couple times, so you might see that logo on your iPad. And your iPad will turn off and on by itself. You might also see this message right here on the right hand side which says uh, iPad not charging, that's fine. Um, and also, once you see the iPad, the, not the iPad logo, the Apple logo on your iPad, you'll see a little bar that's gonna go up and down at times. And that just means it's loading up, that's regular procedure, okay? So you cannot be playing on with your iPad. Once again, make sure it has enough battery so it will last through the whole process. It does take quite long, okay? Um, once again, you should see an Apple logo on your iPad by this time. Just in case guys, if you get this message, just click OK, okay? It's uh, recovery mode is when you get the iTunes logo plus the cable, uh, right logo on your iPad. So just click OK and click on restore again. That's all. Okay, restore and update. It's kind of going to do the same thing, okay? Um, it tends to do that if you had your iPad or iPhone jailbroken. So if you had it jailbroken, this is the way to update it just in case. Um, if you don't do it this way, if you just update it, you might screw up your iPad, make it more difficult for you in order to update it later on. So it's always better to restore it, update it, and then if you need it to jailbreak it, you'll jailbreak it again but always restore it. It's the easiest way actually to jailbreak as well. Um, when it's nice and fresh and no information in it. After that, you can re just recover all your information and put it on, okay? Um, so we're just gonna do that again and it's gonna verify it through the whole type of process again. Just uh, a lot faster, that's all. 
Okay guys, so from this point you can actually unhook your iPad and then just set it all up from your iPad or directly from iTunes. So if you restore it, it will give you automatically your last restore, which was this one right here. However, I actually don't want that. I actually want something from way before. Uh, for you guys, you should pick whatever it tells you right now. It will tell you the last backup. So this was yesterday. Um, if you want the latest backup, it should be right here. So it, it, it was done yesterday, according to this, at 9 p.m. So right now it's 12, which would mean, yep, this was the last backup, which was just done at 9, at 9, uh, exactly three hours ago that uh, this backup was done. So that's what it's telling me yesterday, but pretty much today, same thing. Um, so that's the latest backup, you guys would just click continue, it'll bring up all your information back again, and you're pretty much done from here. Or you could set up some new iPad if you're selling your iPad or your iPhone. You would set it up some new iPad, don't put in your iCloud information, don't put anything in. Uh, you could just leave it as that and uh, just set it up as new. Or just leave it as of right now and then sell it. Um, it's better to set up some new iPad and don't put in any information. You can just skip the whole uh, iCloud process and all that. And so the person who's gonna buy it from you can just put in their information later on. Um, apart from that, I'm actually gonna choose something else from here which is uh, February, yeah, I'm going to choose actually this one, and I'm just going to restore that from my backup, so I'm just going to show you guys, so I'm going to use this older backup that I have, that's just because I'm just changing the iCloud information uh, back to the old iCloud information I had on the previous iPad, anyways, um, that's it for this tutorial guys, um, once you're done, you will see that you have to put in a lot of information on your iPad anyways it's gonna restore a lot of stuff um, once again once you're on your iPad or iPhone it's gonna ask you from for some passwords uh, for emails and uh, your iCloud information again okay um, you will get pretty much all your information back up um, a lot of games where, where you left off anyways uh, it will remember that and uh, that's the cool thing about backups, you'll remember a lot of stuff, you'll be surprised what it, this thing will remember, so it's it's pretty cool. Uh, same thing if you done favorite things on your uh, GPS, it will remember locations, and uh, yeah, so if you do a proper backup, it will remember all that, and then you can just restore it, as we're doing it right now. And later on, you will have to put your all your information on it, such as your iCloud information. Okay? If you guys are having any problems, you can write down here below in the comments area. And don't forget to subscribe and rate. And once again, comments area, any problems or questions that you guys might have, but doing any of these backups for your iPhones, iPads, or iPod Touch. Thank you for watching. And once again, please don't forget to rate and subscribe. Thank you.